thousand avocados. Avocados. You guys are betting in avocados. <laughs> it's a new currency. <laughs> it's more valuable than, than British pounds. It's more valuable than gold. <laughs> it's much avocados. The new Bitcoin. Avocados. <laughs> you got you got five eighty. Thanks, man. Five eighty. Um, okay, I shall raise small to eighty thousand. We really see uh, Charlie Carroll mixing it up from a small blind. It's almost like he wants to make a statement about it. He raised seven to suit it earlier from the small as well. So. <laughs> Peaks over, taking a close look. He's got the talk game going. He's yeah. having fun. Patrick Peel here. How many people do you think is, have ever made a correct decision against Patrick Antonius based on a live read? It's low. <laughs> it's super low. <laughs> has to be pretty low. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, hmm. Yeah, he's definitely played some live poker. That's the best of it. Bottom pair for Patrick and position. Yeah, Very important there. Charlie came to play today, mixing it up, got the suit on. Coming at one of the, as you mentioned, legends, old school, been around. Patrick Antonius. Charlie can't be older than, what, 26 or 5? I mean, he's, he's a young guy. Probably watched Patrick growing up playing poker, and here he is just ripping in bluffs at the <laughs> high stakes stream. <laughs> On Twitch, he streams on Twitch as well. Charlie Corral plays plays high stakes when he does stream. It's been a while, but he he has a Twitch stream. I know that. Yeah, definitely does a lot of cool things uh, and content. Also helping people and uh, yeah. talking a lot of poker. Yep. Really respect that. Yeah, he's done some bankroll challenges and, and he definitely is uh, engages the poker community. Very interesting hand going here. <laughs> Patrick's not a guy I'd want to just like be stone, stone bluffing. He does pick up some equity here, but it's uh, he does just kind of look like he knows what's going on at the live, live arena. And Karelik sort of waves the white flag here. Does get a free card. And once Patrick checks here, he he really kind of. Plays his hand face up, but that's fine, you know, you still have position. So I think in uh in Charlie's mind, Patrick really has a six here or maybe a week or nine. Yeah. This is this is well wow. it does wow. go all in. I like that. No one likes to make at the feature like a hero call, bust out a hand. This is Patrick's certainly not afraid, and and if anyone's capable of making a great call, it's it's Patrick. But it's yeah. a tough spot. I really like the bet sizing that Charlie uses here. If if he would have just gone with like a more conventional bet of hundred fifty thousand, look at the live tell smiling, looking around. Maybe a little reverse fault, a little reverse tells here. Yeah. It's hard to say, and that's that's actually the advantage of being very lively at the table, right? Like, he's talking a lot, he's smiling, he's yeah. asking, like, non-standard questions. It's really hard to read into somebody's reaction. Like, Absolutely. who knows what he means when he's laughing? Right. You really don't know. Ooh, this he has is a, a this suspicious is a look hand. on him, though. Man, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. Wow, well, he's really eyeing him down, though. It's just it's so I think in his mind it, it's it's strange it's like it's a suspi it is a suspicious line bet check jam you know it's man and you would think like queen ten or queen king or something might just barrel it on the turn put him in a, just to check back and then he does have an eight blocker for seven eight I don't know what do you think Lex does he call this is this is I actually really don't know I, I'd be surprised if he does call but it wouldn't shock me I just I would have to pick one I'd say folds yeah. but Patrick looks like he smells blood though yeah he I mean we've seen him made it make some insane calls uh on TV wherever in tournaments cash games I mean he looked he looked really intent on uh on sizing up Charlie there yeah he's not on my list of people I'd try to really make insane bluffs against, but Charlie's gone for it, 
and uh, time bank cards have been used, multiple. I don't, I don't even want to say out loud that I think he might call because that would take away the sickness of this call, like how good it would be. That's yeah. true. It is. It is. It, it's an insane. It's an, the fact that he's like he's he's dialed in. He's really, really thinking about it, and it, it would be an absurd call. Absurdly, absurdly strong call. Yeah, this isn't like a 50-50. I mean, this is this is a complex bluff and spot. And they're deep as well. It's interesting. I mean, they're, this is 117 entered, and they're down to... It's getting close to the money. Yeah, 11 spots away. From today so far, I don't think I've seen anyone use even two time banks. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, this is certainly not a usual... Thing. Everyone's played very fast, even you know, pre-flop, flops, turns. There has been no tanking. This is far from a tank. This is a high-level hand. Oh, oh hello. Oh, what a call. Welcome. Well, Patrick Antonius. That is a call. It took you so long. <laughs> it took you so long. <laughs> That's good. Wow, what a call by Patrick hello. Antonius. Full double up for him. 1.2 million now. You too. Yeah. Man, Welcome I mean, to London.